Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to solve one problem based on what we have learned in previous lecture and that is decision control statements. Okay, so let's see what's the problem. Write a Python program that takes the number of units electricity consume and generate electricity bill. Okay, and here are some instructions. For 0 to 50 units, 0 rupees per unit, 50 to 100, 5 rupees per unit, 100 to 150, 10 rupees per unit, 150 to 200 units, 15 rupees per unit, and 200 plus 20 rupees per unit. Okay, so we have to calculate the electricity bill consumed, and uh, the precision should be or accuracy should be up to two decimal places. Okay, so let's see and how we can solve this problem. The first is we need units. So we are IT as units consume units consume equals to we need to take the units consume as a integer right so first of all integer and we need to ask this to user so we need to use input function and let's give the parameters or param okay so here prompt for user is enter the electricity units consume and here it, it is going to be casted as an integer so first thing we have number of units right okay so how we can uh, solve this problem definitely with the help of if elif else statement we can solve this our first is if and here in if units consumed is greater than or equals to 0 and units consumed is less than 50 right indentation enter and in this scenario what should be our uh, units consume or total cost electricity bill is a variable to store the our total cost okay so in this scenario we have zero electricity bill right then next elif elif in the brackets i'm just copying the above statement and let's modify it right okay so here if unit consume are greater than or equals to 50 and less than 100 okay in that scenario we have to do is electricity bill equals to uh, 0 into 50 that is 0 obviously right still i will mention it 0 into 50 plus uh, right now units equals to here we have to do units consumed minus 50 into what is the rate rate is 5 rupees till 100 right so here it is so this is the electricity bill in this scenario what if okay our third scenario for that let's add another elif here units are in between 100 to 150 okay so here for first 50 units we have price 0 and then for uh, another 50 units we have price of uh, rupees 5 per unit plus our uh, remaining units are like here units consumed minus 100 okay so these are our uh, remaining units uh, after deducting 100 units right and uh, we have to multiply it with 10 rupees okay so in the further scenario again take one here 
so you can see this is the thing okay so from 100 now we have to check for 150 to 200 units 150 to 200 units and for this we have to add again 50 into 10 plus units consume minus 150 into 50 okay and uh, what is our uh, last statement it is again another elif units consume greater than or equals to 200 in this scenario here yeah. in this scenario we have to do again one last time this thing it is here okay and what we can do we we need to add again 50 units here 50 units into 15 right and here units consume minus 200 into uh, 20 rupees okay so this is the thing and one more edge case is there what if user enter some minor random numbers like minus one minus two or whatever so in that scenario we use else and here we can print please enter a valid units consumed so this is our whole logic and in the end we can return print and uh, let's use the string formatting print your electricity bill is this much rupees okay and here we have to use dot format method for formatting the string and pass electricity bill here okay so this is our final program for this electricity bill problem and let's save this program and uh, let's run this program right so let's run this program here you can see enter the electricity bills cons units consumed so i will enter 49 electricity bill is this time let's enter 100 units here you can see your electricity bill is 250 rupees let's run the program again now this time minus 50 here you can see in the case of minus 50 uh okay electricity bill is not defined okay uh yeah we can do this uh print statement there okay okay let's change our program a little bit we can add this statement here 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 and here you can see how in the real time we can solve the problems or we can find the box right so let's run the program again and now let's enter minus 49 so now you can see please enter a valid unit so okay um now let's run the program again and let's enter uh 20 or okay 101 so in that case this is the 260 rupees is our bill okay let's run the program again let's enter 201 so here in this scenario we have this our electricity bill and now this program is not going to uh, like anywhere right and we up to these digits we have up to two decimal places right so you can uh, round off this to two decimal places by just adding this round of round function to electricity bill okay so let's do that again 
for this i am going to select with the help of control you can use multi cursor in uh, here you can use multi cursor okay so let's use round function okay and before that let's round it to two digits okay so we have rounded this this till two digits okay and let's run this program again 201 units and now you can see this is up to the mark okay so in this way we can solve the programs in python programming language right or we can solve the problems so this is all for this video i will see you in the next video till then happy coding